Art. So I'm Kirsten from Sally Draper Architects and this is Melissa from Mitsuri. We're presenting the Roslyn Odson Sports and Wellbeing Centre at Corowa Anglican Girls School. Corowa is an early years to year 12 independent girls school based in Glen Iris. The school's wellbeing strategy is centred on connectedness, self-care and healthy practices. When they appointed us in 2018, their focus was really on addressing important issues amongst the girls like social media use, body image and childhood obesity. Having not built a new building on their campus in 20 years, they had an urgent need to replace their new, their 1960s sporting facilities. They'd become run down and outdated, really only accommodating team sports and gym based fitness programs. As such, they were acting as a barrier to the health and wellbeing program, particularly for girls with no natural inclination towards sports and fitness. What Coral was looking for was an engaging new heart for their campus to allow them to foster a culture of valuing physical, social and emotional wellbeing as the foundation for a flourishing life. To tease this out, early on with the school leadership, we visited some school sports facilities and some female focused health retreats. The two key findings from this was the importance of the physical experience of the space, creating a place of comfort that would engage all the senses with natural materials, daylight and contact with nature to appeal specifically to girls and young women. And the other was the holistic nature of the activities offered, particularly at the health retreats. So they weren't just courts or gyms, but Pilates, meditation studios, cafes, spaces to socialise and spaces to chill out. So we took all these ideas on board and sought to reimagine a sports facility as an open-ended transdisciplinary space that could break down the barriers curriculum places around different aspects of wellbeing as a place that could expand girls' perceptions of health as a whole of life pursuit and a varied welcoming space with broad appeal to students of different personalities and neurodivergencies and to the wider school community. The main building on, on the site is typical of a 1960s cloister, academic cloister building comprising of linear pathways used to order, connect and define um, individual spaces. Adopting this approach, the new centre is designed as a collection of um, destinations rather than a single building. By drawing out the connections to the wider campus, we integrated new and existing spaces and functions by weaving this new centre into the existing grain of the school. The centre sits prominently on a suburban residential street in Glen Iris. Its scale and the most prominent component, the existing swimming pool, presented challenges in terms of integrating with the streetscape. Our design approach focuses on breaking down the building massing and articulating facades to respond to its residential context. A generous and varied street setback provides opportunity for habitable garden spaces along the north and balconies and a recessive mass of the upper floors allows us to layer privacy and transparency to create a building which sits comfortably with its streetscape despite its scale. The centre is zoned, um, is zoned to encourage interconnection between different spaces and functions and encourages participation and observation of activities. Big, big box spaces are located around the perimeter and rooms are graduated from public to private to enable very specific brief and performance requirements for each space to be met. This includes positioning and location of spaces to achieve key sustainability objectives for the project. The cafe and terrace is placed at the very heart of the, camp, of the school and is at the, at the heart of the campus to foster social connection and draw girls into the new centre. And green spaces in and around and between um, buildings are inviting key settings for informal fostering of community and connectedness through social interaction. As a building with many different functions and often conflicting performance criteria, our approach to, the, to, the, to design and sustainability had to be both holistic and tailored to the spatial, ther to spatial, thermal and acoustic requirements associated with each individual use. Sighting and positioning of spaces means north light is brought into the dance studios, cafe, terrace, pool and deep into the main atrium that connects all the building floors. Voluminous light filled treetop studios are located along the top northern facade of the building and to take advantage of daylight and views. 
and an existing pool basin was retained and expanded to eight lanes with a new high performance pool hall built around it. This space utilises energy efficient open balance systems and an airtight envelope design. In contrast, the sports hall is a controlled but naturally ventilated space which benefits from passive design and solar control. It is shielded from the east and west but receives an abundance of diffuse south light, making it more suitable for sport. The equipment gym and viewing gallery overlook the court and strengthens visual connection between to the spaces below. The indoor court also has a removable floor and is regularly used for student, parents, staff and alumni gatherings. At the heart of the campus, the cafe offers a welcoming front door, drawing students, staff and parents and encouraging them to linger, fostering connectedness, belonging and support. Light, -filled sun light and sun-filled spaces are designed to be calming, calm and welcoming. The natural material palette, views to nature, transparency between spaces and direct outdoor access engage the senses and create a place of comfort, privileging the physical experience of space over the visual. A central atrium is the core of the circulation and natural ventilation system, responsible for passively bringing daylight and ventilation through the building. The steel and timber detailing allows light penetration whilst providing warmth and enclosure. This flexible multi-purpose studio in the, core, in the core of the building is a black box performance space with concert hall-like acoustic um, properties and isolated from the, from the spaces around it. Architecturally, this building is designed to respond sens sensitively to its context, both in terms of massing, expression and use of materials. The structural design was refined to reflect simplicity and reduce steel weight. The external palette was drawn from materials present in the surrounding neighbourhood. Ceramic facade cladding was selected for its durability, longevity, appearance and long-term serviceability with tile sizes and setouts um, designed to minimise wastage and achieve a more sustainable outcome. In addition, a solar array, array captures electricity and rainwater is harvested from the entire roof area for reuse. Tall sheer sports hall walls and a combination of ceramic and mirror panels break down the mass and create an illusion of lightness and transparency when viewed from all the other parts of the school. Of course, what wasn't anticipated in 2018 was just how timely the centre's opening would be in 2022, right in the thick of the COVID mental health crisis. The demedicalised spaces for counselling, psychologists, health and learning support have become critical spaces for the school. Embedding them within the regular school environment to normalise support seeking behaviour is proving successful. The centre's non-institutional language and broad appeal has given the school a soft landing pad for students and staff returning to on-site learning. And more broadly, it's supporting the school's mission to foster an ethos of flourishing through wellbeing immersing the girls within a caring community of lifelong